guys, it's Great Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 6 of Undead Unluck. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I really should have watched this when I was like up at like six o'clock. But <laughs> no, because I was up. I was up when this episode came out. Like that was between three and six. I think it was more three. And I woke up. <laughs> um, turned off my PlayStation because I was playing Genshin, and I fell back asleep. <laughs> so don't do what I did. <laughs> And then I woke up again around like six. Went to go get my dog. I fell back to sleep again. <laughs> oh my god. Just literally giving the start of Resident Evil 2. Except it's not, it's light outside. It's not dark. But something could happen. We all know something is bound to happen. I mean, you have a job to do, sir. As much as I would love to say fuck it and go to Vegas, no. Nah. Work first, then pleasure. Zombies. Mm-hmm. Resident Evil. Yes. The whole time? Oh my god. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
rotten, nasty, disgusting, moldy. Zombies. Not SpongeBob. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Not only that, but I think she wants to just, you know, make herself proud. You think it can help you? Oh, definitely. Oh my god, no! <laughs> you know, when someone says proceed with caution, you proceed with caution. Now here come the fucking zombies. He's gonna run him over, oh my god. <laughs>
Yeah. But damn. Mostly detected You want to go off again? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A timer? Makes sense. Right, and then what are you going to do then? <laughs> Not the mm, damn everything. You can understand her. <laughs> oh.
Right? <laughs> How she looks more human right there, especially with her skin. <laughs> Um, so you tell me kids are the one that are doing <laughs> it? And, and she just left him. In the catacombs. Mm -mm. Yeah, so I'm guessing only adults can be zombies and kids, you know, they're still kids, but they're trying to be safe. Huh? How the heck did you get here? As their kids. I can't fucking do it. <laughs> Well, you know, hey, at least it wasn't a weeping angel. I mean, that's better, but it's still... <laughs>
You would think the one on the ground would get up, but he... Mm -mm. Not the kid! Oh! If you would have told me, in a nutshell, this episode just would have been zombies going again. <laughs> Is in a nutshell. <laughs> I would have had a battle with zombies. Going against a monster of the week that looks like kind of, well, kind of Godzilla as the <laughs> weeping angel feels kind of. I probably would have looked at you like you were nuts. Okay, but no, let's talk about Fugo real quick. The fact that she went down after the kid, found three other kids with the other kid. And they all have timers. Because my biggest issue was, we're just seeing adults. We're not truly, oh, excuse me, we're not seeing kids. And then when we finally saw the kid, it made me wonder for a moment, okay, do the kids also have a timer? Because maybe the kids are possibly immune. No, they also have a timer as well. So it truly sucks that no one is really immune to this. And I feel bad because it's kids. Kids are the one thing. And we draw the line at kids. Like, once again, no matter what I watch that has something with a kid in it, I always, like, hope and pray that nothing happens to the freaking kid because it's a child. Oh, my God. And, it, like, all four of them had to grow up so very quickly, especially in a situation like this that is hella dangerous. Once again, hella dangerous. I mean, you know, th think about all the freaking kids that possibly died in the Resident Evil series, because... Yeah. that That's something to think about, you know. It, it's like that one time. I can't believe I'm about to laugh about this. I, I laugh about this shit all the time. So, I was watching someone playing Resident Evil 6, because, mind you, like, even though it's the... <laughs> It's the best dumb game, but it's not the best Resident Evil game. Somebody, <laughs> the person who was playing it, um, it was her and you know her guy friend, and they're playing, and she's asking like all these questions, and because he's playing it, and because I've also watched somebody playing it as well, I was like, oh yeah, like it's gonna be like this, and da da da, da. And, and then so I, I think eventually there's a point. She's like, well, what about all the freaking kids? I was like, you think kids are immune to this? No, like, Pfft. no. No, even the kids. Like, no one typically, unless their main character survives in a Resident Evil-ish. That's it, at the end of the day. But this, you want the kids to survive. But because cause they have a longer time, rather than someone like Andy, maybe Fuko. Well. Just hit a thousand when, he, when she grabbed the kid, so... But that's, I don't know, now I'm torn, because kids have longer moments, Andy was the only one who had, like, the shortest time out of everybody, so, I don't know, I mean, you know, first I was thinking maybe it's because of age, but now I'm thinking it's because of something else, but psh, who knows, we might not even get context on that next week, but other than that, guys, that is my action view towards episode 6 of Undead Unluck, if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday or Saturday for episode 7. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.